Everybody, it's the Victor. It's time to continue eating streak here in the Binding of Isaac Victor Afterbirth Plus series, episode 900 of the Afterbirth Plus series. Wow. Whoever thought we were going to get here after we once started doing an Isaac episode every three days or so a week. Man, what a, what a long, strange journey it's been. Thank you all very much for continuing the like streak. Yesterday's video almost crossing 8,000 likes at the time of recording. And again, remember, I'll be retroactively acting, uh, adding those uh, like streak points up there on the counter down below uh, in case if they retroactively go up and up and up. Just a little bit of more incentive for those of you who want to see the like streak goals a little bit quicker. Here's your meme of the day brought to you by Chillery Buff. The perfect shirt doesn't exist. Because he loves you. Yes. Unfortunately, I would not. I would never legally be able to make that shirt, but having a sissy shirt would be kind of nice. I would I would admit. I would readily admit. See, today is going to be Kawar0974. Uh, we got great everything except damage. 2.92 damage isn't the worst that you can possibly get, of course, but it's not good. It's not It's not anything, really. It's just, you know, yeah, it's just bad damage. Uh, very happy to have Spider, but of course, an excellent starting item for us. It does AoE slow on top of a little bit of damage uh, that afflicts the entire room, which is awesome. Have a great amount of starting HP here with three. Uh, and on top of that, of course, the most notice noticeable starting item that we have is, of course, Rubber Cement. Now, Rubber Cement's going to allow all of our tiers to bounce off of every surface and or enemy. Um... It does kind of cannibalize other tier effects, but for the most part, it's just a damage multiplier. It, it allows your your shots to hit more than once. It's a literal damage multiplier. That's about it. Oh, man. And then we get Mysterious Liquid. Now, let me tell you something about this, brother. Let me tell you about this, sister. There's a lot of underrated synergies in this game, but one of the most underrated, I would say, is, tox is Mysterious Liquid with anything, but especially with uh, rubber cement because we have so many opportunities to lay the to, to basically pile on and stack the damage over time effects of uh, mysterious liquid it, it's gonna be it's gonna be fantastic um, and given the fact that we have an, an, a, a really good amount of tier delay I mean seven tier delay to start with is, is unbelievably good especially with some of the starts that we've been having lately you know that's like a breath of fresh freaking air I tell you that I tell you what. But yeah, so Mysterious Liquid is going to be excellent for helping us out with single target DPS. And uh, just the, the the spreading properties of, of Rubber Cement is going to very easily spread that out and allow us to cover a wide range of, uh, of, uh, of essentially parts of the ground that deal just damage. Like you can see the damage that's ticking on right there on the uh, on the head spider thing from Champion Ragman here. Even though our DPS is kind of... is. DPS is actually quite good, but again, that's that's a product of us having good tier delay, not necessarily good raw damage. Um, we're, I mean, we're tearing up Ragman, no problem at all. Of course, you know, he will be healing, and everyone loves him for it, especially Tyrone. <laughs> He's so cool. Yeah, there's no, there's going to be no voices for me today, unfortunately. My voice is totally shot, as you can probably tell, um, which was the correct prediction of basically everyone who had ears that were listening yesterday, because you knew that I did not stream tonight uh, because I was in the recording studio doing the new vocals for Thrive and uh, and some and uh, the re-recording of uh, War Infection. We get another tears up here. Mr. Dolly is pretty good. I want to go into the curse room. I know the secret room is right here, but we also have that tinted rock uh, in this room here that I would much rather use the bomb for. Maybe ah, I was hoping that was going to kick that out. I am going to use the bomb here. That soul heart, <laughs> and I think we're Gucci. I tried to take I tried to take care of my voice as best as I could today, but I mean, when you, whenever you guys and gals hear Thrive, the new version of Thrive, you're gonna understand why my voice is gone. I appreciate all the congratulatory messages from people talking about my pre-approval and stuff. There's been a little bit of a hiccup, but apparently that's just some that's apparently what underwriters do. They just cause hiccups. <laughs> and when dealing with uh, when dealing with you know the old world is the nicest way I can say it. Basically, boomers um, who don't know exactly what YouTube is. Even at, even in the year 2020, they're like, you can still make money on YouTube. It's like, yeah, yeah. We there's a lot of there's a lot of new things. That the old world is uh, being introduced to, so it's kind of oh man, Dead Eye's so good with uh, we we got an amazing rubber cement synergy going on here. 
it's just, it's just jumping through all the hoops, you know. It's like one one thing after other. First, first they'll tell you, oh hey, everything's good, and then all of a sudden they're like, well, we kind of need this, or oh, we've got, you know, the back. Well, the Backstreet Boys reunion tour is also complicating things because now we need to also see this and this and this. I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> you know. So it's it, it's a interesting process to put it to put it nicely. It's an interesting process. But I am excited, and I'm looking forward to uh, sharing the journey with all of you here. It's going to be a, it's. It's the journey of a lifetime, man. I'm telling you, it's going to be great. Very much looking forward to going to the next the next chapter of life. So we're really hoping that we get a raw damage upgrade here on this floor, especially now that we have Deadeye. That's just going to magnify our damage even more. Super Seeker Room right here, and we might as well get some Moolah. As you can already probably guess, I'm not going to be taking pills anymore. As people were up in arms that I missed apparently one pill in yesterday's run at some point. So my rebuttal was, well, the all pills run was already done, guys. I just wanted to do an extra one just for just for the lulls, but I guess we can't even have that. So I will definitively say, and this is this is this is true from now to the end of time. I will never do another all pills like street goal and no variations of it ever ever the pill i don't know what it is about the pills the like street goal but man some people just get they they i think i think a lot of people lose sight of the fact that it's just for fun i can't believe you missed this pill oh my god he's lying why would Sinvicta lie to us it's like man i really didn't i really i really didn't have to do with it was another day. It's like it's you'll, you'll be all right, bro. <laughs> Let's just say that it was a failed, another failed attempt at trying to bring it back, and it will never be back again on the channel ever, ever. Something about the pill, the the pill popping incentive that uh, just drives some people crazy, man. Yeah, you're seeing the 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 huge amount of damage that we're able to deal here thanks to rubber cement and dead eye especially and then you combine that with the raw damage up the raw damage up that we get from that plus all the ticking damage over time that we get from mysterious liquid and you got yourself a recipe for good damage although i can't believe that that gurgling just turned on a dime like that i've never really taken any damage in there Love to open that golden chest if we get the ability to. Um, not sure where our secret room is. Could be north of this room here, maybe. Need to go for verification on that. One thing I did, I did definitely goof up on yesterday was I, for the the victory lap, I did not read uh, the second seed out, and I apologize about that. Um, that one's that one's totally my bad because I was so I was so jazzed about having Sacred Heart that I didn't even think about it. I'm, I'm still... Why? Oh, that's right. Dead. I, I'm thinking of... I was thinking of... Never mind, yeah. I was like, why did the item pedestal disappear? We didn't take anything out of there, but then I re realized that we got Deadeye in there. Uh, we don't have any keys. I could play the Judgment for keys, maybe. I'd rather just use our only bomb and maybe get keys out of them. Well... Not keys, but trickle charge is actually better, so I'll take it. I could play that a little bit more, but we've got 22 cents. Let's just go down to the next floor and uh, let's see what we can buy on the next floor. And just a quick quick uh, show announcement or schedule announcement. Wow, that didn't die, huh? Schedule schedule announcement. Um, there won't be an Animal Crossing video today. Um, after this, uh, this, this Isaac video is the only thing I'm recording today. You, there still will be a GeoGuessr, though. And as I talked about on yesterday's episode, um, you will see the in the 2 o'clock spot, you will have our new song, um, Our Cemetery, will be out here on YouTube. You can already download it, but there's going to be links to the download link on our on our Bandcamp page. 
uh, in the YouTube information box, but that's what will be taking place at the two o'clock uh, video today, later today. Hopefully, <laughs> I haven't actually rendered the video yet because I'm waiting to get the art, the, the art back from Lily, but I should have it in time and uh, I should be able to render the video. But obviously, if you want the higher quality version, I mean, I'm not going to I'm not going to duck the audio uh, quality on the on the YouTube video because I want people to be able to listen to it on YouTube. Um, but there will be a much higher quality version on Bandcamp. And again, it's all available for free. Make sure that make sure that we we get that get that 100% cleared out. All free, man. I don't want to charge people for my music. I'm just stoked that people would even take the time to listen to the music, let alone even consider, you know, spending money on it because all that money goes back from back to me paying for the band stuff. And we had a great session today. Um, the new vocals for Thrive are just they're what Nick what Nick does with his with his singing and with his his voice is is pretty incredible. And uh, my voice lends a whole lot to it as well. It, it's it's crazy. Like even today, like this is God's honest truth. Today, um, when I was listening to one of the tracks being played back, I could not identify which one was myself and which one was Nick. Like Chris isolated one of the one of the vocal tracks uh, because we wanted to hear the timing on some of the word delivery, and I was like, was that me or was that Nick? <laughs> He's like, that's you. I was like, I I literally could not tell. I wasn't trying to be funny. Like I, I could not tell. It's it's crazy how how similar Nick and uh, Nick and myself, uh, our voices are, but we have. But our voices. What's crazy about our voices is that even though they're so similar, they also lend a lot to each other. Like they give, it gives a lot of volume, a lot of a, a lot of body to it. Um, and I'm really happy with the results on the new Thrive, especially. Really, really good. Yeah, we don't need HP, man. We need something more than HP. We definitely don't need that. I will take the crystal ball, but I'm still going to keep rolling this. Yeah. Don't don't want fruit cake either. We don't need skinny on mushroom. That's an exclusive damage down at this point, and we definitely don't want that. So I'm just going to black rune this. <laughs> we get tears up anyway. All right, all right. And yes, I could have, if I wanted to, I could have walked out, dropped the Emperor's card, and not black ruined it. But I was being lazy. I'll admit it. I get lazy, you know. With Dead Eye, Dead Eye provides us with such a huge damage boost here. I don't feel it's necessary to worry about one Emperor's card. Is my point. Uh, might as well buy this. Get a death card. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm going to buy this half price bomb as well, just because I know, I think I know the super secret is here. Yeah. I do. Okay. Well, that was a fruitless endeavor. But hey, we got our bomb and key. It saved me the money for having to go back and buy the key. It's going to be Pestilence here. Pestilence is going to make sure that we are able to get a, an orbital, which is fantastic for us. Yeah, you're seeing. You watch all the tears that bounce off of the the ads that Pestilence spawns. The amount of the the amount of of multiplier damage that we do is insane. Priest's car. We're going to be able to use that to insta dunk the boss here. There's no real reason for us to use. We should go see what that mini. The mini boss might be like pride or something. Um, there's no reason for us to use a bomb here on just one key, especially when we already know where the boss room is and the secret room is. Um, we may like have an opportunity to get small rock, for example, out of a tinted rock. Um, you know, there's no. You should never use uh, again. One of my one of my age old adages that I that I try to tell people over and over again is is that. You should never use your only bomb until you know for sure you only need one bomb, one bomb only per four. So like, when you, as 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 long as you know that you do not need this anymore, then sure, use your only bomb for whatever. But until you're hundred percent sure that yeah, there's no opportunities for me to get additional bombs with one bomb, or there's no there's no, you know, secret 
uh, or, uh, tinted rocks that I haven't seen yet. You should not ever use your only bomb on one floor unless if you know you're done with the floor. Then go for it. We get Super Envy, which of course is a very dangerous boss, but not with rubber cement. Again, we have nothing fancy going on here. We just have a very, very awesome synergy with rubber cement and Deadeye, and especially with Mysterious Liquid. Although Mysterious Liquid, of course, has no bearing on an Envy fight because he's in the air, it's still very good nonetheless. Um, but rubber, this is a really good highlight run of what the potential of, of rubber cement. And the reason why so many people like this item, including me, I wasn't I wasn't ever a huge proponent of of rubber cement. I, I knew it was kind of decent, but I was like, yeah, it just makes your tears bounce. Who cares? But once you see the additive properties of rubber cement, and then you combine them with tear effects that also have on proc hit, like on proc hit, on proc hit effects, like uh like Deadeye does, then it's like, man, like rubber cement is legit OP. <laughs> That's real, real good. I couldn't even move out of that. I don't know why I decided to go up there. Get 10 bombs, definitely worth it. I'm probably not going to use this Hermit card. I will use the, what's that other card? High Priestess? Yeah, we need to go back and get the High Priestess card so we can use it on the boss. Let's see if it's someone annoying like Carrying Queen or Chad. Hopefully it's not Chad. Yeah, so let's go. Let's I wanna I wanna hold on to the Hermit card. Nine volt plus trickle charge is huge for us. If we can get that, that'd be awesome. And we can. A little bit of a waste there. I'm not actually gonna use um I'm not actually going to use the crystal ball now because we're about to fight the boss and be off of this floor and I would rather use it for the next floor so what the crystal ball is which is our space bar item what it is is a space bar item that will give you a it will give you the map compass effect plus the secret room but also have a chance to spawn a soul heart or spawn a uh, spawn a tarot card or rune one of the best space bar items in the entire game 70% LOL 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 He's not making it up. Happens all the time. We get Dark Prince's crown from Fallen. At least that's going to give us some some kind of upgrade. Not damage, unfortunately, but you know. I'm happy with the movement speed, I suppose, and we'll head on down. 73% LOL LOL LOL. Okay, Necropolis one. Use that to give us a soul heart. Fan dabby tastic. People were asking about closed captions. What's going on with that? So, I do not know how closed captions work on YouTube. All of my videos are supposed to be closed caption enabled um, with the automatic transcriber. But for some reason, it doesn't show up automatically. And. Uh, for me, what I have to do is I have to actually physically edit a word in the auto-generated script, like the transcript of it, and then save it, and then and then it sometimes saves. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I mean, to use this, especially since that was our only key, but oh well. I took Robo Baby because he's one of the few babies that really don't have all that much bearing on um, conjoined. I mean, he's, I think Robo Baby still contributes to Conjoin, but I actually like Robo Baby just because of the tech one shots that he does, and also it's unlimited range and piercing shots. From a, from a familiar, it's hard to ask more than that. Well, hearts does not matter at all. There we go. Yeah, so showing you the, a little bit of the firepower from Robo Baby. Again, we ha we have nothing real special going on with our damage. Our damage is still hot garbage. Um, Dead Eye is what's helping it out, but like Dead Eye is not 
Dead Eye is not the end all be all for this build. We need we need raw damage. We also need a key. We can just somehow get that down. Secret room's got no keys as of a keeper, however. Surprisingly, despite our stats here, we're making really good time. We may get boss rush, maybe. maybe. But again, I I emphasize I emphasize, and people point out the the funny hypocrisy here. But you don't have to go for boss rush. Bo boss rush is hardly worth it. The only reason why I put emphasis on it is if we have a teleportation card. There are two things that you will hear me talk about when when mentioning boss rush. It's either do we have enough time to make it, and do we have, or do we have a teleportation card to get us out of there? Because obviously I don't want to do boss rush, but I still want to get the benefits of having the extra items there. Didn't want to take two damages there, let alone three. Wow. Shot speed's gonna be pretty nice for us, and of course it's a dev it's a Krampus fight in our guaranteed devil deal. Isaac is as Isaac does. Wax on, wax off. Sunrise, sunset. Uh, let's go back and get our hermit card, and we'll head on down after this very forgetful floor. So because we have a teleportation card right now, I want to find Boss Rush immediately um, because there's no reason for us not to. Yes, most of the time, Boss Rush is completely worthless, and yes, I say that quite often, but if we have the ability to get in there and get out, it, there's no reason not to, in other words. It's still worth trying trying to do if it's within reason. You shouldn't put yourself or Isaac in harm's way for trying to make it work. But like this right now, we're kind of we're kind of racing to the racing the clock here, but even then we can still make it. Uh, thanks to our hermit card. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have stopped to even look at that playing card. There's no reason to do that. It's just wasting time. Speaking of time wasters. Okay, so let's get in here. Drop the boom on mom real quick. Soul Hearts have been been dropping hard and fast here. No deal with the devil, no surprise there. Dad's key, tech two, milk, and infamy. Hooray. Might as well take charge, baby, while we're here, and I think that's gonna be it for the floor. Empress card. Yeah. Pretty pretty abysmal abysmal floor. The la I mean depths one or Necropolis one and Necropolis two have both been kind of Kind of bummers. A little, bit, a little bit of a letdown. Not that, not that. Of course, Infamy is terrible. Infamy is quite good, actually. It's one of the, it's one of the unsung heroes of the, of the streak, and also the sung heroes. We, I try to give Infamy where credit credits due. Infamy has saved the streak a couple of times. I would say. I don't think that's unreasonable to say, even though I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Um, but it's just not what we're looking at. It's not what we're looking for. Yeah, we probably should. Definitely shouldn't. <laughs> so that is Little Baggy, and if I were to take Little Baggy, it would take all of our tarot cards and runes and turn them into pills automatically. Because that's a good idea for an item. So hard here, thank you to the Crystal Budu. I'm going to be super duper lazy and bomb my way into the arcade. So now we have a decision to make. Do we want to get down to Polar Invincibility or do we care about having Dark Princess Crown? I think that, I mean, the answer is pretty clear, but I just want to see, I'm, I'm giving you all time enough to see if, what, if you can find out what I think the right answer is. The right answer is Polar Invincibility. Alcoma, again, another item that uh, not necessarily going to be a game breaker. Yeah, so let's get down to Polar Invincibility here.
And I think that's going to be it. We can go back to the store, and we might as well go back to the store, put some more money in the donation machine. Now that we're not under we're not under any sort of hurry at this point. Um, but yeah, polar invincibility, in my opinion, is just it's just more important, especially given the fact that you know. Dark Prince's crown is not really doing it that much for us with the fact that we've got... We have no real true raw damage upgrade right now. And uh, what's more... And especially now that we have an orbital, um, polar invincibility is even more important. I didn't actually mean to come in here, but... Kind of on autopilot right now. So we should go see what this secret... Or this uh, mini boss is. Oh, the full charge here, man. The full charge has been dropping like freaking like candy, which has always been a weird saying to me because like who who goes around dropping candy? You you're, you've just got ruined candy now. You know, like no one's gonna no one's gonna drop down like some starburst or some skittles on the ground and be like, oh man, thank God someone dropped this. <laughs> it sucks to be them losers. You know, like I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pull a James Wood and be like, ooh, a piece of candy. No, I'm not gonna eat that off the ground. <laughs> Although, what I will say, I, I'm one of the people who, who like, everyone knows the five-second rule, like, right? If you don't know what the, what the five-second rule is, it's an old, pervasive thought that if something drops on the, on the ground, you have five seconds to pick it up and eat it without any adverse effects. And people are, people are like, oh, that's, you know, you shouldn't, you, sh you shouldn't eat it as soon as it drops on the ground, period. Like, well, I mean, if I drop an M&M, &M, like, on the ground, as long as it didn't land in, like, mud <laughs> or dust or, you know, something something disgusting, like, who cares? Oh, this, this doppelganger is actually a healer. That's why that nub was respawning so quickly. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll eat it if it's on the ground. I'll eat it if it's off the carpet as long as, as, long as it's clean. Now, if it's got a bunch of stuff, like, stuck to it and stuff, then, yeah, of course I'm not going to... I'm not going to to eat it. But like if I drop a like a, an M and M or two on the on the ground, and it didn't land anything. It's like yeah, I'll eat it. Whatever. It may not be, it may not be the most like sanitary thing, but like it's also not something that I actively worry about. <laughs> My day is not going to be ruined if I happen to eat an M and M off the ground or a chip off the ground that I dropped. Let's be let's be clear. Not not some random chip that I find on the ground. I'm like oh man, I can't wait to dig into this. I'm talking about like you know, if I have a if I have a, a potato chip in my hand and I accidentally fumble it, and it and it hits the ground, I'm like, I'll eat it. Oh, not that big of a deal. I'm not a germaphobe that much. I'm an allergy phobe. That's what I am. If I had one kind of phobe that 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 could categorize me, it's definitely allergies. I'm super paranoid when it comes to like dust. Cat hair, cigarette smoke. I'm super duper paranoid when it comes to that stuff because I really dislike dealing with my allergies. I felt like pushing that soul heart around. Got to show it who's boss from time to time. Thank you, Charge Baby. Bleach is the big one. Whenever. I it's the reason why, I mean, I do clean my bathroom and I do use a bleach, like soft scrub stuff. Like it foams up and I wear gloves and stuff, but like I, even then, like I still get that feeling. I get, I get that feeling in your, in your throat and in your, uh, in your head. It's like, man, I, like I can tell I'm going to get sick. That's, that's how, that's how this last bout of, of gunk came to be was that I used bleach and I didn't, I didn't give myself enough, enough ventilation or something in there. Cause it got to my allergies and the rest was history. And now is the worst time in history, in the history of the world, to be walking around with a slight cough. I learned that. Can we get a damage upgrade, though? Like, Pentagram, Cat of Nine Tails, Magic Mush. I mean, I can think of plenty of damage upgrades that we could use right now, game. Just saying. I was stoked about this, about the synergy at the start of this run, but, like, now I, I really... Would prefer to get some damage, because even when when Dead Eyes maxed out, we ma we're capping out at five damage, and that's not great.
Shot speed, wonderful. Exactly what I what I asked for. Oh, uh, and fantastic devil deal. Yeah, it's good. What I wanted, Isaac. It's what I wanted. I don't care how how hard we go on this. We have to get a payout here. Even if it even if it kills me, I don't care. Like we need to get a payout here. Let's go. So when people ask you what does a uh, what does a zero damage run look like, you can tell them, well, it looks like this. The only reason why we're still progressing right now, well, there's two reasons. First off, dead eye. Secondly, because we have Cuban meat. That's it. That's it. It does help that that we have an excellent space bar synergy combo here with uh, charge baby. 9 volt and trickle charge. I mean, that's huge for us. But that can't kill enemies for us. <laughs> Silver dollar. It's a great time to tend to drop right, you know, on on the on the last womb level. Silver dollar is a trinket that gives you a shop, a guaranteed shop that appears in the womb. I don't know if you noticed or not, but this is the final womb level, so it's kind of a kind of a useless drop there. I'm just saying. Hey, thanks for thanks for trying, Silver Dollar. I wish you would have just shown up a little bit sooner. But I mean, we've already made back three soul hearts, maybe even four soul hearts in the time of being here, thanks to Rotten ba or there, th thanks to um, Charge Baby and the Nine Volt and Trickle Charge, especially. And this could potentially be a pretty long fight. Potentially. Because we don't have the benefit of Mysterious Liquid helping us out and dealing the uh, damage over time. Oh, it's just going to spawn underneath me now, I guess, huh? While we were in the corner there, you just decided to let it spawn that, that, lo that, that eye laser there, Isaac. Is that what we're doing now? We're just spawning things underneath me? Well, I guess I should feel happy that it's not Teratoma. But Chubb is also pretty obnoxious for her mom's heart to spawn. Here goes our deal with the devil. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. I wouldn't say that we're in trouble on this run. It's just... This run is... It, it, this run went from being okay to not okay very quickly. Thank you for me. For saving me one of my nine lives. This run, this run very quickly went downhill, and it's all predicated on us not getting damage upgrades. And that's really the big problem with Isaac, is that if you don't get damage upgrades, you are in for a world of hurt. And I know what you're saying. What some of you are saying, you're saying, well, dam technically it's Invicta, damage upgrades, Deadeye is the de damage upgrades in Invicta. It's not, though. Like, it's not, a, it's not a raw damage upgrade. It gives you raw damage when you abide by its conditions but instead of having something like that and this is in no way shape or form a slight against Deadeye because Deadeye is one of the best trink one of the best tier effects in the entire game the only point that I'm making is that there's difference between stuff that augments your damage like a tier effect and then damage upgrades a damage upgrade would be something like Polyphemus, Proptosis which we haven't seen in forever 
Something like that. That's what I consider a damage upgrade. What we have here is a is a damage modifier, amplifier, multiplier, whatever you want to call it, markiplier. That's what we have right now. We need raw damage. Our raw damage right now is 2.92. It's exactly the same as what we started with. And that's not exactly good. It makes that definitely makes everything in the game a lot dip, a lot more challenging. And missing that last devil deal on mom's heart was a big big blow to us. And also crystal ball, you know I love you. But you had three chances to give us a soul heart on this floor and you blew it. I need you to step up, son. Where other where other where other parts of the team are slacking, I need the big time players to step up and be big time players. Because they make big time plays. And right now, we need some big time plays from our big time players. If you ain't a big time player, you can't be on this team anymore. Yeah, see, that's a uh, not a big time. That's a, not a big time play here with an Ansa's rune. It, it would have been if it was like an Alga's rune. But it's not. It's an Ansa's rune. Yeah, this is our future for Blue Baby here. What we're seeing on Isaac. This is this is what happens when we have to rely on 2.92 raw damage. I saw that. I saw that animation skip, Isaac. Don't try to don't try to play me. Well, I have to use that because I don't want to lose. Even though we have polar invincibility, I had to pick up the sun card because I don't want to lose this extra HP right now. Because that, because then you're talking about we're in a lot of trouble. I mean, we're still not in a good place right now. The streak is definitely not safe right now. But it's even it's even less safe if we don't get Isaac down and we lose this extra HP container we've got. And with us not having any bombs, I can't even go look to find, to see what's in the secret room. I can't go see what's inside the blue fires, nothing. So, you know, things aren't good right now. Definitely, it's definitely a, it's a, it's one of those pucker up runs, if you know what I mean. And it's a boss like Isaac and Blue Baby that we need the most help on. And this is basically, these are two bosses where Deadeye and more importantly, more importantly, um, Mysterious Liquid cannot help us at all. Which is why I'm, I keep preaching about the importance of us having raw damage here. If this was Curse of the Blind, I would have to take it at this point. <laughs> it might as well be Curse of the Blind because good lord. All right, let's see where uh, Hermit Card takes us. Right next door, fantastic. Well, I guess the silver lining will be all these rooms that we clear, we might get extra chests to work with. Oh, that hit us, huh? And until we get a until we get a full charge on our on our crystal ball, which we got right now, we don't know where we're going. Hierophant card is huge for us here. Very happy to at least have gotten butt bombs because at least that allows us to get into the secret room, which was totally worth it for this counterfeit penny that we will totally use for the rest of this run. Yep, that makes sense, game. Don't, I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen Gertie Jr. move that fast. All right, well, there goes that Hierophant card, I guess. And hey, we're back to square one. All right, here we go. And yeah, look at the damage there from rubber cement. Now that's good damage right there. That's good. No one's gonna argue that. We just don't have that kind of damage against bosses in the air. <laughs> if they're attached to the wall and they're not allowing the the shots to escape past them, then yeah. This works, but unfortunately, Blue Baby is much more mobile, as you all are well aware. I'm just hoping, like, honestly, the dream would be at this point for us to get 
if not a chaos card, then definitely an Algis rune. If if Crystal Ball can can get us an Algis rune, we will win. It's still not. There's nothing. There's nothing guaranteed on this run right now. Even at this stage, and I know, I know, I said I've said before, and I've said it again. I'll say it again. Nine lives is a guaranteed win. I'm not saying that this isn't a guaranteed win, but I'm at this point saying that if you give me a run but keep me on 2.92 damage for the entire run with nine lives, I can't guarantee a win. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I'll guarantee a win with the assumption that we get a little bit of help damage-wise. Now, these bombs are also kind of big here because at least we... Oh, good. Oh, say goodbye to our lives here. This is why we need Polar Invincibility. It was just as hard as it looked. That that black soul heart is huge. Double champion Mega Patty. Right after double adversary. Okay, game. Remember that last run where I was like, this is the worst chest ever? This is probably the second worst chest. Thank God we had Host Hat there. Host Hat saved us, and Infamy also saved us from dying. Dude, this, there's no way this Mega Fatty can still be alive. We've only DTS that one. Again, this heart is huge. Okay, yeah, we're, we're going to be fine now. We're fine now. Be, the reason why all that changed is because of that one red heart, but more importantly because of that soul heart. We should be fine now. Should be. So we have two hits that we can take before Polar Invincibility. Once we get down to Polar Invincibility, we've got to do all the damage we can to Blue Baby. Ideally, I'm just not going to get hit here, but... Uh, movement speed's not the problem here. It's our, it's just our, our our lack of... our inability to destroy enemies. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. One of those situations where Blue Baby fires right at the right... at the right time for him, wrong time for us. Now, luckily, we did get our... we did get our Soul Heart back. Now, I'm actually going to purposely wait on taking the soul heart the reason why is because if i can get hit here if i get hit here i can pick up the soul heart and still maintain polar invincibility twice so i'll so it's going to activate polar invincibility once when i take a hit and go down to a half red heart and then it's going to activate polar invincibility again if i were to get hit after taking the soul heart so what i'm doing is gaming our hp to our advantage right now by saying i'm going to have two instances of polar invincibility instead of one if i were to pick up the soul heart right now and we got hit it would not activate polar invincibility but because i know how the polaroid works i'm going to game it to where when we eventually do take hit a hit here from one and a half red hearts to zero to half heart i'm going to run in deal the damage with cuban meat while also picking up that soul heart and then if we get a hit again after that and go back down to a half heart we get another round of polar invincibility that should be enough to put it, put us over the edge now the two of hearts doesn't really matter but the two of hearts also kind of saves us as well because if we do go down to a half heart that this buys me another hit but it doesn't buy me another polar invincibility round because we'll have an even amount of, of uh, hp I know there was a lot of words there, but I'm just trying to keep my mind focused instead of instead of just, you know, focusing too much and then then causing myself a little bit of issues here. But we're going to get him. I mean, it's guaranteed now at this point. So, yeah, even even if he does that, I can go pick the soul heart, go back here, do this. He's going to hit us again. That's fine. No problem. Bingo, bingo, bongo. Get styled on game. 2.92 damage. Gotta love it. Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, please let me know. Please, if you've been interested in my music, my band's music, please take the time out to check out our new track coming out today in the 2 o'clock spot in lieu of Animal Crossing. Uh, Animal Crossing will be back later on this weekend. And, yeah, thank you all very much. I hope you enjoyed that run. It was a different type of run, definitely stressful, 
and uh, and there's a lot to really hate about it. But you know what? Hopefully, with what you all saw me do here on this one, it you know it'll give you hope on those runs where yeah we stayed below two point we'd stay below three point oh damage for an entire run, and uh, still came out with a dub. Episode 900 down. Thank you for watching. Hope you had a great start to your Friday, everyone. Please leave me feedback on the new song. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody.